I got to work this morning, somebody put out a piece of paper to me, uh, not mentioning any names, and has said, hey, look, man, they're trying to step up their protection when it comes to the consumer as well as the mechanics at the dealerships. I just want to let you know there's a bill that's being put out in front of political officials to get passed that protects us better as mechanics to help provide better service for the customer and make sure that we're not getting screwed in the process as well as them. The bill is called HB 3940, the Fair Labor and Consumer Protection Amendment. The, the letter that I received said, we have an unprecedented opportunity to pass some very impactful legislation. The bill is HB 3940 and will be voted on in the next few weeks. It is critical that all of our employees take a few minutes to call your state representatives and voice your support for this bill as soon as possible. Additionally, Please invite friends and family members to call and voice their support as well. That would be in your state. Call your state representative and tell them that you support this bill and you support fairness for the consumer as well as the people servicing the vehicles. Win, win, win as it requires auto manufacturers to pay dealers the same labor times as the customers for warranty repairs. This will benefit everyone as a dealer and technicians will be properly compensated for warranty repairs. Plus, consumers can be assured that the recalls and warranty concerns allow adequate time to be remedied. Go to the link below and type in your home address to find your state representative. If you're in Illinois, it's https forward slash forward slash www.illinoispolicy.org forward slash maps forward slash Illinois dash house forward slash. What I want to share with you now is the 102nd General Assembly State of Illinois 2021 and 2022 HB 3940. Introduced February 22nd, 2021 by Representative Lawrence Walsh Jr. Synopsis in, in, introduced amends the Motor Vehicle Franchise Act, provides that the sale of motor vehicles shall be prohibited rather in a manner in which the dealers are reimbursed by manufacturers, provides that the amount of retail customer pays the dealer for the same services, authorizes the use of agreed upon time guides, applies to warranty work, Factory recalls establishes manner of determining effective labor rates. A bill for an act concerning business. Be it enacted by the people of the state of Illinois represented in the General Assembly. Section 5, Motor Vehicle Franchise Act is amended by changing sections 1.1 and 6 as follows. Section 1.1, Declaration of Purpose. The legislature finds and declares that the distribution and sale of vehicles within the state vitally affects the general economy of the state and the public interest, welfare and the safety in order to promote public interest or the and safety and that in order to promote okay I'm reading this on this little phone and safety and that in order to promote the public interest, welfare and safety and in the exercise of its political power it is necessary to regulate motor vehicle manufacturers, distributors, wholesalers and factory or distributor branches or representatives and to regulate dealers of motor vehicles doing business in this state in order to prevent frauds, impositions, discrimination, and other abuses upon its citizens, to protect and preserve the investments and properties of citizens of the state, to foster healthy competition, and to provide adequate and sufficient service to consumers generally. The licensing and supervision of motor vehicle dealers is necessary for the protection of consumers and the sale of motor vehicles by unlicensed dealers shall be prohibited. The legislature fur further finds the regulation of motor vehicle manufacturers, distributors, wholesalers, factory branches, distributor branches, and representatives, and dealers promoted to the distribu di distribution of motor vehicles to the public and provides a system for servicing vehicles for complying with the manufacturer warranties so that consumers can keep their motor vehicles properly functioning and safe. The sale of distribution of motor vehicles constitutes a continuing obligation of manufacturers, distributors, wholesalers, factory branches, distributor branches, and representatives, and dealers to consumers, and the public has an interest in promoting an av availability of post-sale mechanical and operational services. Every manufacturer, distributor, wholesaler, wholesale branch, or division shall properly fulfill any warranty agreement and adequately and fairly compensate of each motor vehicle dealer for labor and parts, adequate and fair competition, 
or adequate and fair compensation requires the manufacturer to pay each dealer no less than the amount the retail customer pays for the same services re with regard to rate so no longer will we get screwed no longer will ford or gm or toyota or anybody come forward and say you're doing a front cover job on a motor we're only going to pay you four and a half hours but the customer has to pay seven and a half hours as their rate no more no more will we get screwed like that no more will they pay us 0.3 to do a 20 c19 camera recall on a, a transit when if you go to the slts warranty guide it says the manufacturer normally would pay 0.9 this is huge for us regard to rate and time any time guide previously agreed to by the manufacturer and the dealer for extended warranty repairs may be used in lieu of actual time expended in the event that a time guide has not been agreed to for warranty repairs or said time guide does not define the time for an applicable warranty repair, the manufacturer's time guide shall be used, multiplied by 1.5. In no event shall such compensation fail to include full compensation for diagnostic work as well as repair for service, labor, and parts. Time allowance for the diagnosis and performance of warranty work shall be no less than charged to retail customers for the same work to be performed no warranty or factory compensated repairs shall be excluded from this requirement including recalls or other voluntary stop sell repairs required by the manufacturer if a manufacturer is required to issue a recall the dealer will be compensated for labor time as above stated furthermore the manufacturer shall pay the dealer the same effective labor rate using the 100 sequential Repair orders chosen and submitted by the dealer less simple maintenance repairs. This requirement includes all or this requirement includes vehicle diagnostic times for all warranty repairs. Additionally, if a technician is required to communicate with a technical assistance center, engineer or or some uh, external manufacturer source in order to provide a warranty repair, the manufacturer will, will shall pay for the time to start the communication including hold time until the communica communication is complete. The dealer may submit a request for the manufacturer warranty labor rate increases a maximum of once per calendar year. A claim made by the finished motor vehicle uh, dealer for compensation under the section shall be either approved or disapproved within 30 days after the claim is submitted to the manufacturer in the manner to the forms in the manner and on the forms of the manufacturer reasonably prescribes. An approved claim shall be paid within 30 days after its approval. If a claim is not specifically disapproved in writing or by electronic transmission within 30 days after the date of which the manufacturer receives it, the claim shall be considered to be approved and payment shall follow within 30 days. In compensation, no, in no event shall compensation to a motor vehicle dealer for labor times and labor rates be less than the rates charged by the dealer for such like services to retail customers for non-warranty service and repairs additionally the manufacturer shall be reimbursed the dealer the manufacturer shall reimburse the dealer for any parts provided in satisfaction of a warranty at the prevailing retail price charged to the dealer for the same parts when sold to the retail customer there shall be no reduction in payments due to pre-established market norms or market averages. Manufacturers are published from establishing are prohibited from establishing restrictions or limitations of customer repair frequency due to failure rate indexes or national failure averages. No debit reduction or chargeback of any item on a warranty repair or order may be absent in finding fraud may be absent a finding of fraud or illegal actions by the dealer a warranty claim timely made shall not be deemed invalid solely because unavailable parts cause additional use and mileage on the vehicle if a manufacturer imposes a recall or stop sale on any new vehicle in a dealer's inventory that prevents the sale of the vehicle the manufacturer shall compensate the dealer for any interest and storage until the vehicle is repaired and made ready for sale Manufacturers are not prohibited to impose any form of cost of recovery fees or surcharges against a franchise auto dealership for made in accordance with this section. Doesn't look like anything underneath the... Guys, check out this bill. I don't want to read. Those are the main parts I was focused on. 
That's huge because now what that means is if a customer goes to the dealership and they want to they want to buy a backup camera for a let's just say a transit van and they they charge them between 350 and 400 dollars for that camera warranty price is only 90 bucks so when we have to do a recall they charge the warranty company 90 bucks but if a customer goes to buy that same camera you're talking 350 to 450 dollars for cameras sometimes if not more no more it's saying if you're going to charge a customer that you're going to charge the dealership or the the manufacturer of that so quit screwing the customer over because if you can mark stuff up that high well then you're going to mark stuff up that high on yourself so be willing to pay it that's what they're saying there's no more screwing people over there's no more none of that anymore with this bill it makes it fair across the board so the manufacturers cannot screw technicians and customers over anymore this is huge research this bill guys call and support this bill go find what your state representative's name is find his office number and give him a call when you call the number it's fine to leave a voicemail simply state hi my name is such and such and i live in this place i am calling to ask for rep i am calling to ask representative so and so to please support the hb 3940 this bill is very important to me and my family thank you for supporting hb 3940 flood your state representatives lines this is a game changer you want things to change now we want social equality and justice and all this other stuff you know what I, I get all that how about our work rights and our labor rights and stuff as well this is part of that call and support this guys please this is huge